Welcome to this tutorial on InLab Software 15. In this video, you will learn how to import scanned data to the software as an STL file. You will also see how to design a bridge using these data. Before the data are imported, the case is created in the administration phase. To do this, you first select the respective dentist and patient and then create the case in the odontogram. This case is a bridge from 1-3 to 1-7, where 1-3, 1-4 and 1-7 are crowns on abutments and 1-5 and 1-6 are pontics. The MCX5 will be used as the production machine, and the material to be used is zirconium oxide in Chorus ZI. Confirm these entries by clicking OK. Then switch to the scanning phase. If a scanner is connected, the default setting is Model Scan. To import an STL dataset, you must first switch to the Import Model option. The Load button then appears in the menu. Click on it. Make sure that you load the respective STL data for both JAWS to the corresponding image catalog. In this case, it is the maxilla. The model is displayed in the 3D preview. You can now load the STL of the mandible by changing to the image catalog of the mandible. It is now possible to import wax-up scans or gingiva scans by adding image catalogs. In this case, the data are not available, so we continue and calculate the models. In the Model Axis step, the model is then aligned to the template, just like scans with the In EOS X5 or In EOS Blue. The midline is first determined, and in the next step, the occlusion plane is set. Then the jawline is corrected. To do this, place the middle blue point between the two central incisors, the second point between the canine and premolars, the third point between the premolars and the molars, and the fourth point further distal as a continuation of the jawline. The same procedure is used for the opposite quadrants. If the tooth numbers are still not in the middle of the preparations, they can be moved there. Like scans using Serona products, the model is now automatically trimmed and proposals are made for the preparation margins. These margins can be checked and corrected if necessary. The next step is setting the insertion axis. You can also assess the undercuts based on the color scheme here and correct the insertion axis if necessary. The setting for the line of vision can be used for this. If the insertion axis is correct, click on the next arrow to go to the design phase. The parameters for the restoration can be adjusted individually if necessary. In the morphology step, you can select the shape of the tooth for the restoration. In the positioning step, you can now pre-position the setup if desired.
In this case, a zirconium oxide framework is to be produced. To do this, the entire bridge is reduced. Set the reduction level using the slider and then click on Apply. If the connecting elements are too thin after reduction, or if you have more room for the connector in some areas, you can enlarge them using the scaling tool. After completing all steps, the production preview is then calculated. Thank you very much for your attention, and good luck working with the InLab Software 15.